Hey guys, Computer101 here, and today I am back with Minecraft mods. This time I am playing with the Computercraft mod. This is a very powerful mod. It allows you to code computers with real code, and it can do some really cool things. Now, I have a list of four creations that I want to build, but I am just a beginner with this mod, so none of these are going to be super crazy. But let's not stall any longer and get to the builds. Here we go. So the first idea was to build a clock. And the idea, pretty simple. Just display the in-game time on a screen. And that's kind of about it. It's a pretty simple build. And here it is. Now the first build is done. It's very simple. It is just one computer and one monitor. And it should be working i haven't tested this yet but it displays 12 o'clock p.m because i have time set to noon but my daylight cycle is turned off so if i turn do daylight cycle on let's see if this works yes so now it sets to whatever the time is so soon it will be 1 p.m yeah now it's 1 p.m so the sun is significantly lower in the sky and now if i set the time to midnight for example it'll be 12 a.m so if i do time set like day for example you'll see that's 7 a.m so the sun is pretty low in the sky and then the same with night, which is 7 p.m. So it looks like the sun just set and the moon is just starting to come up at 7, 10 p.m. This was a very simple build, I would say. So now we're going to move on to the second build idea. So this second idea was to build a smart home in computer craft. And how I did this is I used a pocket computer that was wirelessly hooked up to the door and the lights. So it will automatically turn on and off for the lights and open and close the doors. And this took a little bit of engineering because it was a little difficult because I had to set up wireless connections between all the computers but i eventually ended up getting it to work so that's what you're gonna see now okay this is the finished product and i know the house is ugly but i'll make up for it with these cool tricks that i got here so obviously there's an iron door here it's a little dark just because my shaders sorry for that um but I can't open it. There's no button, no lever, and no matter how much you look, there is no hidden, like, lever anywhere. So, how are you supposed to get in? Well, you just have to carry around your wireless pocket computer and write the open door command, and the door opens for you automatically. And then, obviously, you gotta be able to close the door. So, you can do that too. But it's a little dark in here, so let's just call the lights on command, and the lights are turned on. But, you know, electricity bills, they're rising fast, so we have to, we have to save our money by taking those off. And you know what, let's just, let's just go touch some grass. Let's go outside. Oh, wait. There's no grass. Okay, anyways, on to, on to idea three. Okay, so this one is basically like a vacuum. And it uses what is called a turtle in the mod. No, not that kind of turtle. And basically it just picks up items in this certain area. And I am sorry this footage is very flickery when sped up because I was switching between programs a lot because I actually coded this one outside of Minecraft and imported it into the actual game instead of coding it inside of Minecraft the whole time 
because it just made it a lot easier so I could like copy and paste stuff. But here's the final product. Okay, this is build number three finished. So basically, there are a bunch of items on the ground. And then when I activate this computer here, this turtle will go and pick them all up and bring them right back to where they already are. You can see I already have some items in here, so I will clear those out so you can see that all these are going to pick them. So there are 16 oak logs, 16 of the dark oak wood, 16 oak planks, and 16 acacia stairs. So if I just press collect there, it'll suck up all the items. And it should work, except for this acacia stair, you know. Oh, sorry, jungle stair. It's a little glitchy because it like doesn't pick up everything, but it does a pretty good job except that one singular jungle stair. So you can see we have 16, 16, 16, and then 15 because that one jungle stair just didn't make it through. Even though it did try to suck up this block where it's just sitting at, but it's just a little glitchy, so it's not going to work 100% of the time. But I'm going to call this project finished. Okay, so the last project is a leaderboard. So how this works is you can go onto the computer and input your name and a score, and it'll store your score and name onto a leaderboard. This by far was the most annoying one to code out of all the other ones. And just like the last project, I coded this one outside of Minecraft and then imported it in. But I had a bunch of problems, and the footage you're seeing right now isn't even all the footage because there was so much more that I just forgot to record. But I ended up making it work, so I'll show you it right here. Okay, so this is build number four. This is a leaderboard system. Only problem, it does not display the rank in order of, like, the highest scores at the top. But I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, so first of all, let's just open up the leaderboard by running the leaderboard command. And it displays this, which was already stored. And you can see that it is stored on this floppy disk. So if I take the floppy disk out and then try to run the leaderboard command. It just doesn't have a disk in there, so it's gonna bring an error. But if I do put it in, it'll show it, and obviously it looks the same because the values are still the same. So if I look outside of Minecraft, I have this text file, which is stored inside of the floppy disk, and you can see the text exactly as it shows on the monitor. Now, there's a few ways to change it. First, I could add manually another score of, let's say, three. So like in this theoretical game, I didn't end up doing very good. I just press Control S to save it. And then when I update the leaderboard, it will show that on there. But there's also another way to do it. So if I delete that, you can see now it's only back to the original. So we can. So if we update that, it's back. So you can see that it's copying off of that text. But inside of Minecraft, I can write leaderboard add instead of just leaderboard. And I'll add Commander 101 and then a score of like 5. And it'll add that there. And you see, it automatically saves it to the text file. And what that does, basically, is one, you can access it outside of Minecraft if you want. And two, all this text, because it is stored on this floppy disk, I can take the floppy disk out and store it somewhere. So if I have it in my inventory and it's not in the drive, you can see there is no disk. That's just 
that error just means there's no disk in it. So it is all stored on this disk. So theoretically, if I had another disk that also had a text file on it called leaderboard.txt, and then I put it in and run the leaderboard command, it would show a different leaderboard. But this one, I just only have one of them. And with that build done, I am done with all four builds that I wanted to do today. I got the clock, the smart home, the item picker upper, and the leaderboard. If you have any more ideas for builds that I can make with this mod, or the create mod, or any other mod, just leave a comment down below. I will try to look at all the comments that are on all my videos, and if I like your idea, I might make a video on it. So make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.